Hi everybody, Marty here with my co-host Roland, as always, and I'd like to welcome you to Tom Thumb Review. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Who's this? Get out of here. Hey! Hi everybody, I'm back. <laughs> so, I'd like to welcome you all back to Tom Thumb Review. Uh, today we've got some fun items here, we're really excited. These are the items we've been talking about for the last couple weeks, but of course we... You know, we missed out. Uh, we couldn't do a couple episodes, and then I was gone last week. So, we, you know, we've been holding off, but we're really excited to try these. So, uh, they're Rollo and Reese's colliders. I don't know colliders. what they're Colliders. Oh, my, collider. <laughs> colliders. And, uh, anyways, they look delicious. I'm really excited to try this. Can't wait to get them open. They just, they're like pudding cups is what yeah. it looks like. Uh, Calypso teas or le Calypso lemonades. Um, yeah. We got about uh, eight flavors here. Should have probably looked at the flavors, but you know we could go through them here. Uh, these Calypsos are going for two twenty nine a piece, and then the uh, colliders, we'll call them colliders again. The colliders are going for three ninety nine. Uh, the flavors we have here is Island Wave Lemonade, which is the one I wanted to try. Uh, Ocean Blue Lemonade, which as I'm turning that, make sure to Whoa. shake these. You see that? Yeah. It's got some pulp in there, so it must must uh, must have some real lemon. Oh look. Real lemon bits. Always. Gosh, when, if I would just read things. Uh, let's see what else we got. It's obviously regular lemonade, kiwi lemonade, triple melon lemonade. Oh, that sounds good. I'm going to have to try three of them. Strawberry lemonade, black cherry lemonade. That's probably a good one. If you're a fan of black cherry, I, I'm a big fan of black cherry. I believe that last one is uh... Southern Peach. Ooh. Mm, that sounds good too. All right. So, yeah, I'm really excited to try these out. Uh, you know, as usual, we can start with the liquids first. Before we get into that, though, let's get into the sale items. Oh, yeah. See, I've been so long, <laughs> I forgot how this works. Yep. So, we're going to be starting off with uh, chicken quarters going for, that is, uh... One moment here. we got to decipher this. One oh nine. nine. I pound. think that's one dollar and nine cents a pound. One oh nine a pound, but if we're wrong, you'll see something right here that says the right price. Oh yeah. Okay. So uh, next will be yams going for one thirty nine a pound. Next up is ambrosia apples returning once again for one nineteen a pound, and we're going to be finishing it off with Brussels sprouts going for one forty nine each. Well, I think those are those are one pound bags, right? Oh, the, the pretzel spouts. Probably. Because if we charge you one forty nine for a little pretzel sprout, I'm pretty sure you yeah, can buy them. That makes more sense. There. <laughs> <laughs> so, and I've seen them bags. They're they're in a little net. You know, you know, you can't miss them. You know. So, awesome. Well, it like some good sales. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, Calypso, Taste of the Islands. Yeah. Probably like you know, not made in Hawaii. Let's see what it says here. Uh, uh, taste of the Islands. Imagine you're chilling on the islands. Uh, Jojo, whoever Jojo is, I guess. Is it your say the same thing? Yep. Okay. Might. Jojo must be the owner. Mm -hmm. Jojo must be the... There's a lizard on the back. Jojo must be the lizard. Ooh, okay. Uh, King Juice Company, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. That, that's not an island. That's no. nowhere near an island. That's uh, the farthest <laughs> you can go for an island. <laughs> what are they talking about? But, uh, well, yeah. It's going to be interesting. Yeah, it looks um, really good. Yeah. I'm going to give it a shake though after seeing that. Yeah. There's real bits of lemon. You know? I've never had these. My roommate loves these. He's had them for years, and it's one of those that just seems a little too out there. Yeah. But we needed something to try, so why not? Totally. I've never, and I've actually never had these either, so I'm really excited to try them. Um, it's like an old Snapple with a pop top. I miss that. Snapples. I miss that. All right. I don't want any of this uh, tea Snapple stuff. Go back to the classics like Snapple Apple. Yeah. <laughs> Gosh darn Snapple. Objective button is up. Oh. oh, and it does say shake well. Oh, there we go. Let's see. You ready? You ready? You ready? Cheers. Not bad. Yeah, that's really a. It's actually really good. Really sweet. Um, and now you know. Normally we read the back. I'm looking at this. Total sugar is 54 grams, included 54 grams of added sugar is 108% sugar. <laughs> 100% juice. You, I've got all, you've got the more sugar you've one. You've got 100%. 100%. <laughs> oh, man. Right, as always, you know, diabetes in the morning. Diabetes. 
Uh, That's actually really good, though. It is. So, like, I think I pour it over like a cup of ice to help kind of mellow oh, out definitely. the sugar. It reminds me of how I used to make Kool Aid though back in junior high. Oh yeah, a lot of sugar, more sugar than I flavor. Need. Sugar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what flavor was that? Oh, it was sugar. Yep. Yeah. No, this is good. So we may be ragging on it for the extra sugar, but it does have um, thirty milligrams of ca calcium, eight, uh, one point five milligrams of iron. And 40 milligrams of potassium. That's crazy because mine's only got 10 milligrams of calcium. You got They're calcium. all different. Yeah. Mm. Huh. So, See? you know, each each one a little bit different. That's 110%, 106%, 97% sugar. So that one's probably the one you should want if you're <laughs> wanting to wash your sugar. 105. <laughs> yeah, I can't see Anyways, a lot of sugar. So that was good. I like these. Yeah. I, I recommend them. Uh, they're going to be located in the... Uh, uh, the back wall where our pop cooler is, all the way to the left, top shelf. You can't miss them. There'll be a picture here. <laughs> there you go. All right. So up next, uh, the colliders, not not the colliders. I've got Rolo, layered caramel flavored dessert with rich note choc chocolate topping. Yeah. And this one's the Reese's, peanut butter flavored dessert with rich chocolate topping. All right. Originally, when I picked this up, I thought it was four cups, and then I, I, after assessing that they're just two big cups, so we're pretty much just going to have a pack and split it, you know? Yep. So we won't be sharing these with anybody because obviously there isn't enough to go around. Roll it down. Do I have to kick you off again? No. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin Harvard, get back in here. No, no. So, yeah. Uh, all right. Yeah, let's roll over for you, Roland. Haha, <laughs> Reese's. So, uh, Initial thought, if they didn't have the top, I wouldn't be able to tell the difference. No. They look exactly the same. Okay, there's a little bit of color difference, but not enough at first glance. It, yeah, a little bit. I, I guess, yeah, the Reese's is a little bit darker. Mm -hmm. But it totally just reminds you of like a, looks like a, a, the pudding cup you get that was layered. So, let's see what we're going to do. What are we doing first? I, we'll start with the Rolo. I'll uh, start with the Reese's. There we go. It smells like pudding. Ah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Gotta lick the lid. You're, not, you're not a child unless you're gonna lick the lid. And your kids are hard. That's for sure. Mm. Well, definitely the consistency of pudding. Mm -hmm. It tastes, the top chocolate layer for me tastes like chocolate pudding, mm -hmm. but this, this caramel layer, right? That's what it said? Yeah. Is actually really good. Mm. Wow. I like it. So, you know, it's a, again just it's layered up. I'm gonna give it a good mixing though. Okay. See if that changes things around. And give it a so swirl. that one's got the caramel. I've got the peanut butter. I totally agree with the how the chocolate just tastes like chocolate pudding. Mm -hmm. But then the the peanut butter uh, just stands that much farther out. It taste it doesn't quite taste like what you would expect, like peanut butter to taste. But it would be in the, the consistency of pudding. Huh. So in that regard, regard, they did it right. Mm. I'll try mixing mine as well. This contains peanuts. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I actually know someone who. I'm gonna go in for the peanut butter one. Reese's one now. Hmm. You know someone who, who what? Who was definitely allergic to peanut butter. Oh, that would suck. Ah oh, man, I'm so happy. I'm not allergic to anything. <laughs> yeah, I mean some allergies when you know springtime rolls around, but. Well, I've got food allergies, thankfully, but we're going to avoid those. Mm. Oh wow! See, you know, you know when you get like the the Reese's bunny, and it's got that gotcha. green peanut butter in the middle. Yeah, that's exactly what this tastes like in a cup. If you know what I'm talking about, I'm pretty sure we got some downstairs for sale. We actually do. But uh, oh yeah, this one's good. I'll be reviewing those in about I think three weeks if we still have some left. If we still have some left, yeah, you sure it's coming up. All right. I'm gonna give this one a mix, see if it changes things around. You can definitely taste the peanut butter a lot more than the chocolate. Now with my Rolo one, <laughs> um, I definitely can taste the caramel. That does stand out. Mm -hmm. But I think I like the Reese's better. I agree. But I might be a little bit biased because I love Reese's anyway. I'm oh. trying to remember when we did the Reese's Hershey's bar. Did we lean towards Reese's there too? Yes. 
Hi, Reese. Totally Reese's. biased. My name is Marty. This is Roland. We want to endorse you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, that'd be cool if they send us to like Hershey, Pennsylvania. That would be cool. Oh yeah, we did a video from Hershey, Pennsylvania. We hey, totally vlog it. Yo, know, if you guys know anybody who works at you know uh, you know with Reese's or Hershey, just you know tag them, please. But yeah, no, those are good, man. These I, uh, are. I agree with them. The Reese's one is really good. Mm -hmm. I think I'm gonna try a mix. Ooh, Reese's on the wild and side. And you can kind of you can really see the color difference when you yeah. mix it too. How much darker the Reese's is to the um, mm -hmm. the Rolo. Just totally put my. Uh, arm on the lid there it happens <laughs> so yeah no that's a good mix i really uh you should try it yep. try it. yeah yeah try that so which one did you start off with Reese's? oh i just put them both on a spoon okay yeah i didn't i didn't I was paying attention i was just put sugar in my mouth oh yeah the roll is darker mm. that's a neat flavor combo oh that doesn't go together well <laughs> It's a good combo, but don't drink your lemonade. It doesn't make you know, chocolate. I think. Like okay, so the the peanut butter is overwhelming, but also it's the caramel. Okay. So I want to see like, I almost want to see a Reese's caramel now. Oh, that'd be good. So, but would it be like? Uh uh uh. I'm assuming chocolate on the outside, and then like peanut butter with caramel on top. Yeah. That sounds good. Even if like they got into cahoots with Rolo, and you know that little dip? Mm -hmm. What if they just filled oh, that dip with peanut butter? That would be cool. Yo, Reese's again. <laughs> Rolo, what's up? <laughs> He's inventing some new candy for you over here. Yep, you're, you're supplying most of our candy aisle as it is. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we do have a lot of Reese's options. We do. Yeah. Well, that stuff was delicious. I mean, all in all, I, you're not disappointed with anything. Uh, I, I do oh. recommend trying these. Oh, now, you know, funny, I'm looking at these. I see there's different 7% uh, juice, 6%, oh. 10%, 9%. Yeah. So, yeah, these they are all individually made. At least you know it's not just, like, same base. They just add a flavor. Yeah. Boom. You know, they've obviously got to be doing something different. That there's Each one of these has mm -hmm. got its own uh, special thing about it. I didn't know what to say there. I kind yeah. of lost it. <laughs> I was reading. Uh, so, yeah. I think it's been a good episode. Yeah, Roland, been... I'm glad to be back. Oh, it's good to have you back. Yeah, I look forward to seeing you guys next week. And, uh, you know, be sure to like us and, uh, you know, subscribe and all that jazz. Totally. Come in if you can't find any of these. Oh, I should probably tell you what these are at. These are in the cold case. You're going to find them, you know, the cold case is where the sandwiches are at, kind of by the our hot case deli area. Uh, they're going to be on the top shelf, normally where we have the park phase at. Yeah. You know, but again, if you, you know, have any questions, don't, you know, don't be afraid to ask any of us. Totally. So, yeah, again, Roland, happy to be back. Good to have you, man. We'll see you guys next week. Bye.